Good morning, guys. Welcome to another episode with Franklin. Right, if you're watching me for the first time. So this guy uh, picked me up in Lagos and uh, I sat at the back as a taxi driver. You're going to listen to a very interesting, quite detailed um, audio clip in a moment. But the only thing is um, most of that short conversation was uh, held in you know, in Yoruba language, okay? So you're gonna have to bear with me. But I'll give you a quick background for those that don't speak Yoruba, okay? Yoruba is my mother tongue. So now, check this. Um, this guy, he basically was talking about um, how his own mother circumvented or, you know, attempted severally to circumvent his essence, his spiritual essence. Orito uh, Biwai, otherwise known as Aisiki, right? To basically circumvent, hijack his essence, his energy, and port it over to his, um, you know, younger sister who's a sibling. So um, I've talked about this from a spiritual standpoint. But before I crack on, um, I'm an Ifa initiate. I'm a proud practitioner of same. Um, you know, in simpler terms, African spirituality. So I'm basically disconnected from the religion of the invaders, you know, um, way, way back. I was born into Christianity, you know, the moment you get emancipated, you get illuminated here, you know, you would know that it's all a lie and, and all that stuff. But anyway, moving along. So this guy picked me up. Uh, he sat at the back, nice gentleman. We're having, you know, he saw this, my, this, uh, my Idefa. I, you know, it's offer spiritual protection so now he recognizes what this represents so we got talking about ifa african spirituality it was a fantastic conversation so we were held up in traffic a little bit and this conversation happened like i said in a moment you will cut through to that conversation you can listen to what that gentleman you know discussed with me now as i was saying he talks about how for many years you know he's, he's, he's heading towards his late 40s now and is a guy, he has a very strong essence, you know, the mother, his biological mother, I tried for many years, you know, unfortunately, she's involved in the dark side, has tried to lift his, um, excavate his essence and move it over to, you know, his sibling, but she had been successful, he's had a lot of clamp down in his life, Anytime he lays his hands on things, it's like fetching, his life basically has been like fetching water with basket. You, you understand what that means? So he, he has tenacity, he has a huge driving force, he's determined to make it, but there is a spiritual limitation, there's a blockage. I always say, man, the, the, the toughest spiritual battle emanates from your bloodline, your father's side, your mother's side, or sometimes a combination of both. And if you're able to absolutely win the spiritual battle, talking from the point of view of we Africans, you can you can win any battle in life. You know, spiritual battles are crazy. You know, the ones that come or going delay from within families, it's insane. So he, the best part of that conversation, you know, I had to cut off at some point. He acknowledges Ifa. And um, he recently, not too long ago, got into Ifa. So he carried out Ifa divination. And that unpacked so many things about his life. His mom had been at the forefront of affairs. She has a lot of disdain for him. Um, somebody might be listening to this or bump into this video of my channel for the first time. And maybe this resonates with you. This is why, this is my gospel to people. This is my, this is why I run to the top of the mountain with, uh, a figurative uh, loudspeaker and I tell people Elodaifa, you know recalibrate your life all this religion of the invaders have nothing to offer us you are spiritually porous or in fact non-existent okay the best thing you can do is to go and carry out Ifad divination and it will unpack so many so many things unbelievably about your life you can start to recalibrate you can pinpoint exactly where the problem is if you need to carry out it to, to you know appeasement and things and fortifications you get it done without that you wouldn't climb 
That's a fact. Without that, that gaping hole in your life will carry on. Uh, what I've discovered in my own journeys, it's absolutely possible for you to move through this life, this planet, and remain spiritually blind and or non-existent. And for the evil ones to create, um, what do I say, a fake pathway in life a distraction for you and live through many years or however long you live without fulfillment all right so that's that so this guy talks about how his mom you know repeatedly tried to um basically not even tried you know stifled his progress and everything he laid his hands on um um would never work he'd lost money and so the only thing that worked for him recently is starting to piece his life together. Him working as a cabman and, and, and all that does interstate journeys and stuff. And Ifa divination exposed so many things. Now, there is something I also want to highlight. So whilst I was ha talking to this man, he talks about how within the last three years in the, in the part of Lagos that he lives, um, he bumped into an old friend and he said this was like three and a half or so ago right at that time he had a major um he, he had a major uh, i think um argument you know with his mom so he had enough and he, he cut her off for like three years straight right people were like ah don't do that don't abandon her and all that but he made he made a point that in the three years plus that he disconnected from that woman there was no communication. She pretty much didn't have a blueprint of his daily plans, what he was doing with his life. He said, through the help of a particular friend in that period, he saw so much money from a particular business, influx of money, he was able to build a three bedroom bungalow, which is where he currently lives with his wife and kids. Now, people from within his family network, you know, put pressure on him. Put him back under the um, negative spotlight of his mom in the name of you know rekindle the relationship don't abandon her yada yada, yada. sometimes some people need a total disconnect so that you can have a good mental well-being so that you can have a spiritual upliftment so that your life can be better no sentiment but anyways as soon as he went back under his mother's radar so to speak everything went down south and i mean absolutely everything it's like there's that negative spiritual marking and he said bro this business that i was doing i was seeing influx of money they literally kicked me out of the business i didn't offend anyone i didn't get in a fight i'm a grown man he's got quite a lot of gray and he said bro they just there was this resentment heightened resentment there was this disdain for me and it's like the guys that, that we had a smooth sailing we would eat lunch together we would travel interstate across nigeria they just went for a total disconnect and ostracized me from the business can you show you last one? and things flattened thankfully he managed to build he said he calls it a simple design uh, bungalow nothing you know nothing over the top but you know a home is a home I'm happy he has a home that he built because many would love to have that but you see the point I'm, I'm trying to establish here is spiritual fortification is the way out for us and like I say spiritual battles from within our bloodlines families from Africa until you were able to effectively deal with those things there's no way out for so many that's why on an ending note people can live in the diaspora for example for many years i always talk about this zero fulfillment zero absolute zero fulfillment you know you're educated it's not because you're useless let me let me, let me clarify this it's not because you're lazy no it has nothing to do with that in fact some people have multiple degrees you're very articulate you're very smart you've you have heightened IQs, you're very smart, you jump on a program, you're the best in terms of accumulation of marks, pass marks and things like that. But when it comes to climbing the stairs of success, you realize there's always something wrong. Um, they chained you. And this is not trying to bash any African parents for those with limited 
kind of thought process who may not understand him i think franklin is bashing parents no a lot of these spiritual clamp downs like i call it spiritual chains and limitations if you trace them carefully without sentiment if your inner eyes get activated you realize that sometimes for the most part for most people the people that birth you are deeply involved what do i mean whilst you're a kid your father or a combination of mom and dad might have joined their forces they've looked into you they did an akosajai they looked into your essence want to yell you they see that you've you're a sh bright shining you know star and they want to use you as a springboard for their own betterment of a luria so let's say the way the universe created you is really you know you're quite strong they couldn't they couldn't you know excavate that essence as they want what they normally do as a very well-known blueprint for those that know is people like that they will rob you of time i'm a bias i they will they will waste your time and create an artificial pathway for you whereby in terms of fulfillment you'll be zero before you know it you're 40 before you know it you're 50 and uh, you look back you take an inventory of your life you realize there is nothing to show for it that's what happens and until you trace your step back and be able to look into the core the roots there is no way out so at the end of this it's about 11 minutes now please listen to this audio recording okay um i do if i divinations i'll keep talking about this there was a bunch of folks let me say this before i go that have bombarded me that are waiting to hear from me about um, if i divinations forgive me franklin is just one person more busy bah. i'm here in motherland africa now you know there's project management and by the way, you can talk to me about project management abroad, and um, it's just crazy. Uh, I've had a long day since morning, and I'm here now. I'm trying my best. I'm not ignoring you. Some of you are mad at me. I understand. Am I, you know? It's, it's just crazy. I'm only one man, and but I will get around to everybody. I'm trying my best. So now, please watch this video. If you're interested in Ifar divination, bang me an email to footchannel1960 at gmail.com. Uh, the universe has used me to help so many black lives. <laughs> African spirituality is the way out. It is the way out and it's the way forward. To discover your essence. If you're interested in Akosa Jai, predestination checks. Bang me an email. But listen to this gentleman's audio. Okay, listen. Tell me what you think. My name is Franklin and um, I'll catch you. If you don't understand Yoruba, forgive me forgive me all right um unfortunately the man was speaking yoruba language you know whilst he was driving you can hear my voice in the background all he was saying in a nutshell for those that don't understand yoruba language is he was talking about how his mother tried to excavate his essence and put it over and this happens across so many black families it's sad but it's the harsh and some of the darkest realities of the life and the world we live in my name is franklin and i'll catch you in the next one peace and love man send me an email to food channel 1960 at gmail.com peace so as i Ah, <laughs> Bro, go go you want to go now? What you want to dance in? Don't sorrow.
so before you even started this story we pay so that's why and it see one matter effect by sick here that means there is something massive great about your essence as an individual what you really need to look at me so go and what I'm not in bag when you don't buy sick here and thought you really pay or really so tomorrow that you are you pay but that's my shiny automatic be your duty on body I see here but on my dining and like a cool one wabba shima pass I eat on my don't know you to get pay things will become potentially or possibly difficult for that person. Imagine yeah. one yeah. Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, she pay one Better if done, truly in its essence. As she share for you, better what? For example, as she so you pay only get full protection here. But I tell one my lord say yeah, it is to work against you. Yes, and you need no, but no even red bar. Okay.